Hi, I'm Adele from ourfamilylife.co.uk. We've teamed up with Internet Matters to talk to you about e-safety. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Snapchat. Here's a video diary of me using Snapchat for the first time. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to day one of my Snapchat diary. So I just took a selfie um, and just added a little caption on saying, hello, this is my first Snapchat picture. Um, and then in the bottom corner, it there's a number and it uh, goes from one to 10. And you can actually choose how long um, you want the person who's receiving um, your picture or video for them to be able to see it. Personally, I've always been worried about people screenshotting pictures, but Snapchat now has this little inbuilt thing where um, if you take a picture and you send it to somebody, if they take a screenshot, it alerts you that they've taken the screenshot. Welcome to day two of my Snapchat diary. So what I've managed to do today is I've learned how to do a video. Um, so on the main on the main screen it's got your camera and you can turn it round to do a selfie picture. So you can all you can also do a video as well. Um, so the big button that's in the middle on the screen, if you press it once, it, it takes a picture. And then you can also press and hold it and you can create a video. So I just created a little, hello, my first video on Snapchat. This is day three of my Snapchat diary. I've discovered um, another little uh, thing on there today, um, which when you're on your main screen with the big button at the bottom to take a picture or a video, if you swipe to the left, um, it, it, it comes up, I've got it in front of me, that's why I'm looking down. Um, it comes up with your Snapchat, your friends. Now, if you go swipe the other way, um, it, it's got a thing called stories. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of, um, they're sort of like this in a little strip. Um, and when you click on each one, you can see it better there, look. Um, so when you click on each one, it actually gives you little quirky little things, or you can read stories on there. This is day four of my Snapchat diary. One thing I've just noticed is that my email address that I first registered with on day one um, is actually in red. So I pressed on it to have a look at it and it says verify email address. Now, that means that I've managed to register on this app and use it without actually verifying my email address. So does that mean as long as kids put in a different year of birth or put in an email address that they know is an email address, you don't actually get a notification to verify your account. Um, I need to kind of explore that a little bit more. This is day five of my Snapchat diary. I've discovered something that's called my story. So what you can do is when you take a picture, you can um, press the little arrow in the bottom corner and you can I, that's where you can send it to your friends or you can add it to my story. So I've just I've taken a couple of pictures and added them to my story. And then when you go into the little story file, when you swipe to the right and you press my story, um, your pictures that you've taken are there. But interestingly, they are still set on however many seconds you choose to, to set them for. Welcome to day six of my Snapchat diary. Um, things I've learned today, I've learned that under your name, on your username on your sort of home screen, um, which is this one, you've got a little score underneath and as the more you take videos the more you um, take pictures and send them to people or text your score builds up and also on on the little your sort of it's like your profile page there's a little trophy at the top so the trophy is um when you click on it it's a trophy case so as time goes on as you send more pictures and more videos you actually open up more trophies so at the moment my trophy case is, has got lots of locks on because I haven't really done um, I haven't really done a lot of things to, to get trophies. So here we are. This is day seven of my Snapchat diary, and I've actually made it. Um, I actually feel a lot better now about the app than when I first started seven days ago. I've learned how to um, take pictures, do video, 
I've learned how to add friends and obviously register in the beginning um, and along the way I've obviously asked my daughter um, for a, a few pointers because obviously she uses it more than I do. I got my husband involved um, and I got him to register so he actually now understands a little bit more about it um, and went onto Internet Matters uh, website just for a, a little bit of help on there. Um, so yeah, I actually feel a lot better about the app now. I understand the privacy settings, um, so I do actually feel a lot more comfortable with my daughter using it. And at the end of the day, it is just about talking to her um, and just making sure that she kind of understands um, the certain pictures to send or not to send. So yeah, I do feel a lot better about this now. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Thanks.